Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will use the distributive property to find the total area of a figure. Let's use the distributive property to solve the total area of this figure below. We know that we can figure out the total area of a rectangle by multiplying the length times the width. Let's start by figuring out the length. Let's count how many units together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. Now let's go ahead and measure the width. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units. We know that we can multiply six times seven to figure out the area of this figure here. Now one way to solve six times seven is to use the distributive property. We notice on this figure that the seven units were actually split. We have a line going down here that makes two rectangles. So what we need to do is to figure out how the seven was broken up or split. Let's count from here to where the seven units were split. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count from here to here. One, two, we have two units. We notice that the seven was split into five plus two. We have five units and two units. So we can rewrite six times seven by rewriting the seven as five units plus two units. And we can go ahead and bring down the six. We notice that this six is still here. We figured out the length was six. And we notice that this length here has to be six as well. So we have the six from here times five plus two, which makes seven. So these two equations have the same exact value. Now let's go ahead and distribute or share since we're using the distributive property. We need to distribute the six to the five and we need to distribute the six to the two. Take a look here, we have six, which is the length, times five, and we have six again times two. This is six times two, and this is six times five. So this rectangle here represents six times five, and this rectangle here represents six times two, because we're sharing this length with the five and with the two units. So we can rewrite six times, open parentheses, five plus two, as six times five, so six the length, five the width, plus six for the length times two for the width, so six times two. Now, six times five, we can either count all of these units here, or we know that six times five is 30, and we can add six times two, if we count these up, we have 12, and we know that 30 plus 12 is 42. So we can say that the total area of this figure is 42 squared units. So we can go back to the original equation, which is six times seven, and we know that equals 42. So six times seven is the same thing as six times five plus six times two both equal 42. <laughs>